A dance of beauty, grace, and intricate movement. It has been around since the dawn of the Renaissance, even though dancers such as Mikhail Brezhnikov and Rudolf Nureyev helped to popularize ballet in America, there is still the stigma in American society that ballet is strictly for women. The preconception is that ballet is, is a feminine form and you only need to watch any of the male variations in any of the classical works to see how athletic these guys really are. I liken them to, you know, the, the stars of the NBA when they're at the All-Star Game and they're doing, you know, their, their biggest dunks and their biggest uh, uh, feats. That's like watching a, a really high-level boys' class. I've been doing ballet for about seven months now, seven to eight months, so I'm relatively new. Before I started ballet, I thought it was, I thought it was very, uh, very feminine. Uh, only girls did it. If you're a guy and you did it, you're either flamboyant and things like that. When it comes to ballet, again, that, that's an activity that young men aren't encouraged to part participate in from an early age. So when you look at dancers that are usually men and celebrated for being amazing dancers, their movements are usually really big, fast, violent, some, you know, really aggressive type of move. And then you look at ballet, which is much more expressive. Um, and, and much slower and would be considered much more feminine, um, that's not going to be something that you um, are going to be encouraged to participate in early on from, a, from your parents um, or from your peers. Even though NFL stars such as Lynn Swan and Willie Galt took ballet classes to improve their performance on the football field, American society still adheres to strict gender roles and boundaries on what it means to be masculine. Some of our boys have more difficulty than I had because they come from cultures where it's frowned upon to be uh, a male in just about any dance form. So some of them don't even tell their family members for fear of being made fun of or put down by people in their own family. So there are many you know, Latino communities, African American communities, where to do something that is a, a traditionally Western European art form is frowned upon. You can't be soft because if you're soft, you're not going to survive. You know, you, you, it's not just about, you know, being a man for the man's sake, but it's also about being able to navigate some of our communities and survival. The male's role in ballet is much more than meets the eye. It requires a lot of strength and athleticism. You know, a man has to have a very strong upper body because they lift women. And they have to have very strong intrinsic muscles, you know, because they have to stand on their, t you know, on their toes and they have to have strong ankles and they have to do turns and they have to have strong calves. I realize that it does help. It is a foundational dance. And it's not only for girls, for women, it's also for men and for athletes as well. It helps build uh, strength and core and technique and it, it just helps improve your overall body and structure. It's beautiful and it's hard work. You know, when you're doing the moves in ballet, you know, whether it's a jeté, a pique, an arabesque, it's so beautiful and it, and it seems so effortless. But there's so many parts of your body that you have to have control over to execute those, move, those moves. It's so hard, but the ending result is is priceless because ballet in its entirety is a beautiful art form. As the codes for gender roles in our society become less rigid, the door is slowly opening for more men to participate in the art of ballet. Um, between men and women, there really is no difference in terms of what we feel. What the difference is, is what we're allowed to express, what's socially acceptable for what we can express. I would say that men in ballet are strong and they're awesome and they make the art form beautiful just as much as women do. <laughs>